Hi everyone, now we'll be discussing another chapter of class 10 and that is the Sermon at Banaras. Sermon in English refers to preachings, teachings that is given by a spiritual guru or a spiritual person to his disciples. The Sermon at Banaras talks about the life of Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha, he was born in a North Indian family when he was a child. Uh, he was known to be not Lord Buddha, he was referred to as Siddharth Gautam. He had always lived his life in luxury. Yes, Lord Buddha's life was not a life of spiritual person initially when he started off. His life was full of royalty, full of luxuries. Being born in a royal family, he had all the royal gems, he had all the good luxuries in the life. He was sent to, uh, you know, for his further education to uh, various places. When he came back, he was married off to a beautiful girl. He also had a beautiful child with that princess. Lord Buddha, also known as Siddharth Gautam, was the prince. He belonged to a royal family. What was that one incident that changed the life of Lord Buddha and made him the actual true monk we know today? Siddharth Gautam, he was on one of, one of the days he was on his hunting mission. And when he was going for a hunting, he saw four unusual sights. The first sight was an aged man. An aged man who was suffering because of his oldness. Second sight was that of a sick man. A man who was sick, a man who was suffering from diseases. Next, we have Lord Buddha. He saw a funeral procession. He saw a person who is dead. Next, he saw a monk who was asking for money, who was asking for alms. So a sick man, an aged man, a funeral procession, and a monk asking for alms changed the life and perspective of young Prince Siddharth. Siddharth, who was just somebody who was very, uh, you know, enjoying his life in the luxury, he realized that luxury is not the true purpose of life. If I want to know the true meaning of life, I have to sacrifice all these materialism and lead my life as a monk. Immediately on looking at all these four sites, Lord Buddha, he gave up his luxuries, he gave up his life as a prince and he became a normal monk. Now, when you know, he uh, became a monk, he received his spiritual awakening, he did uh, you know, a lot of med uh, meditations, he lot did a lot of practices, and eventually he became the Lord Buddha that we know today. After becoming Lord Buddha, he gave, uh, Buddha gave his first sermon at Banaras. The holy city of Banaras is known to be the first place where Lord Buddha gave his very first sermon. Now, when he gave his first sermon, he became very popular. People started idealizing him. People started adapting his teachings and practices in their real life as well. Once there was a lady named Kisa Gautami. She lived in Banaras. Uh, Kisa Gautami, she had just lost her son. And the loss of a son is very unbearable for a mother. She endures a lot of pain. She endures a lot of loss. After the death of her son, she became very depressed and very lonely. So one of her neighbors, she, you know, he said, Kisa, why don't you go and meet Lord Buddha? I am sure he can take you out of the misery. Even though Kisa knew that nobody can take her out of that misery, she said, okay, I will go and meet Lord Buddha. When she went and met Lord Buddha, Lord Buddha asked her to do something. Lord Buddha said, collect mustard seeds from one house that has not experienced a death of a close family member. This, you know, gave a task to Kisa Gautami and she said, okay, I'll get you mustard seeds from a house that has not seen a death till now. It took many days. Kisa Gautami went from one house to the other, from the other to the other. But she couldn't meet and she couldn't come across a house which had seen no death. And this surprised Kisa Gautami and she realized what Lord Buddha is trying to say. Lord Buddha was just trying to convince Kisa Gautami that each and every human in this life experiences certain pain. We have all experienced a loss of somebody. Kisa had experienced the loss of a son. 
Probably some other person might have experienced a loss of a mother, a father, an uncle, an aunt. Say, there is no one in this world who has not experienced loss. There is a very famous thing of Lord Buddha, karma. Yes, Lord Buddha believed in the concept of karma. He believed that what we sow, we reap. The actions that we do today will always decide our future. How we are going to be in the future, how the future is going to tackle us, it all depends on our past. Also, Lord Buddha said that if we think too much about our grievances, if we too think too much about our pain, it will only enhance, it will only aggravate our suffering. It will not make us realize that, you know, um, this is not good or this is not good. It will only aggravate our sufferings, our pain. So we should not think about the grievances, we should not think about our pain. Yes, we all experience pain, but we should only take it as a matter of life. This life is not an easy road, it is always topsy-curvy. If we are experiencing bad things today, there will be a time when we experience good things. So we should always meditate, we should always believe in the power of inner self, and we should always believe in good actions. because. Karma is an important concept. What you do today, you will get in the future. So the sermon at Banaras very beautifully tells us about the life of Lord Buddha when he was a child born, born into a royal family. Then eventually how he sees four things, an aged man, a sick man, a funeral procession and uh, you know a monk asking for arms. This changed his life, he became a monk, he gave his first sermon at Banaras and Lord Buddha was also known to change the life of Kisa Gautami by telling her that we all humans experience pain and if we are just going to think about our pain, it is, it is going to aggravate our loss. So we should always live in the present, we should not think about our future, we should take one step at a time and always be positive. Thank you, this is it for today.